and nature. So, it is a part of our duty to protect and maintain each and every component of Mother Nature, which includes the environment and all the other living organisms surrounding us. Nowadays, very often we talk about maintenance of ecosystem or eco-friendly substances. So let us see what is ecosystem. The interrelation which develops between the non-living and the living components of nature due to their continuous interaction constitute the ecosystem. How do they interact? Here, the green plants synthesize food not only for them but for the entire living world. They prepare food taking different elements and water from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air and using sunlight. So, they are the producers. The transfer of nutrients and energy take place from the plants to the primary consumers or the herbivores when they feed on plants. Similarly, through food, these are transferred to the secondary consumers or carnivores from the primary consumers when these carnivores feed on them. At the same time, all living beings take oxygen from the atmosphere and give out carbon dioxide. And after the death of these organisms, decomposers act on them to release all the elements back to the nature. animals, those who feed on them, like lions, will die due to lack of food and the whole system will collapse. Hunting animals are prohibited. Do you know why? Because if they are killed, who will feed on the deer? No one. So, deer will increase in number and eat up all grasses and plants and the land will be turned into a desert. Ultimately, all deer will die due to the lack of food. Decomposers are organisms which act on the dead bodies of the organisms and break down the substances into its constant parts. The process of decomposition is vital for an ecosystem because it involves the release of the nutrients from a dead organic matter back into the environment for the use of the producers like plants. Nowadays, due to the excessive use of pesticides, decomposers are getting killed and destroyed which will prevent the recycling of the elements in the nature. For the restoration of ecosystem, we all need to take care of two major areas which are conservation of biodiversity and reduction in environmental pollution. Along with that, we need to maintain or conserve the water table as groundwater is a valuable resource. Water is a valuable resource and an important aspect of ecosystem restoration. We know plants attract rain and due to percolation of water, the water table is maintained. However, due to loss of trees, destruction of forests and over pumping of groundwater, the rainfall pattern is affected. This causes less rainfall due to which the groundwater is not replenished with respect to time. The roots of the plant do not reach up to the water and are incapable of extracting water from the soil. 
the ongoing problem of widespread water scarcity, deforestation, and groundwater pumping should be restricted and everyone should do their bit to conserve water wherever feasible. Researchers have put price tags on the nature's life support services. An average price tag of 33 trillion US dollar a year has been put on the nature's fundamental ecosystem services which are often taken for granted because they come for free. Let's to reduce the production of CFC. 